We are Earth's passengers as our home planet travels through the cosmos. To us, everything seems calm. Nothing could be further from the truth. Contrary to what you might think just based on your everyday experience, the Earth is actually hurtling through space at amazing speeds in a lot of different ways. Even just the motion of the stars through the sky at night gives you a clue that the Earth is not sitting still. The Earth is spinning at every moment, and we can see this most clearly in the fact that we have day and night. We might not think about it, but our lives are tuned to Earth's journey as it spins through space. There's really nothing more basic to us than that cycle of day and night, that 24-hour cycle. All of life on Earth evolved with a day-night cycle. So it's ingrained into every organism on this planet. Life evolved in lockstep with Earth's spinning motion. But in the ocean, corals take things a step further. By keeping a record of every planetary turn. They have a daily cycle which creates a deposit almost like a tree ring, but instead of it being once a year, it's once a day. So you look at a bunch of tree rings, you can count the number of years the tree was alive. Corals record not just the yearly cycle, but the daily cycle of night and day. These are recorded in these little growth bands in the coral. By counting the coral's growth bands, we can work out the number of days in a year. Sounds simple, but when we look at ancient fossilized coral, we discover something strange. We can look at fossils of corals that are hundreds of million years old, and if we do that, we find that the year is not 365 days long. It's more like 420 days long. When the ancient corals were alive, there were 420 days in one Earth year. Meaning a day was just 21 hours long. To find out how this was possible, we need to go back to the start of Earth's cosmic journey. Four point six billion years ago, our planet traveled a dangerous path through a chaotic and violent solar system. Collisions were frequent. One giant impact set our planet spinning rapidly. formed the moon. Going all the way back to the time that the moon formed, the Earth may have had a day as short as two and a half hours. As the Earth continued on its path through the early solar system, our planet cooled and the surface became solid. But the violence wasn't over. The young Earth was bombarded in the early days of the solar system. And when these rocks hit the Earth, they almost never hit directly on, they'd hit at an angle. With each collision, it adds a little bit more momentum and a little bit more spin to the Earth. The added spin that you get is kind of like a merry-go-round. You can imagine with each kid that pushes and jumps on the merry-go-round, you have greater spin. As our planet journeyed on, asteroid impacts set the young Earth spinning 12 times faster than it does today. 
Our planet's rotational speed has huge consequences for life. On Earth, the spin of our planet actually has an effect on our weather. With a shorter day, one of the effects that might have been apparent on Earth at that time was more storms developing. A phenomena still in action today drove these powerful ancient storms. We call it the Coriolis effect. The Earth's spin creates phenomena in Earth's atmosphere and oceans. This determines patterns of circulation in combination with the heat energy from the sun. The rotation of the Earth matched with solar heating, uh, especially at the equator, causes air to rise up and then also sort of to, to move sideways and sets up spin. As the young Earth continued its journey, the planet's rotation whipped up ferocious planet-wide storms. The fast spin would have been disastrous for any life. The storms would have been so big, it's, it's hard to say if life would have evolved at all. Fortunately for humankind, Earth has a traveling companion, the moon. And it helps slow our planet's spin. What happened next was kind of a wonderful gravitational dance between these two bodies. As they were spinning, they were also interacting with each other. The moon's gravity pulled on Earth's oceans, generating tidal bulges. Material was moving in and out of the tidal bulges as they spun, and this creates friction and a kind of drag that actually slowed down the rotation. The tides also helped create life. Giant tides swept nutrients from the land into the oceans for the first time. A primordial soup began brewing, and life arose. As Earth's spin continued to slow down, life spread across the planet. But our planet's spin is just one part of our cosmic ride. Realizing how complicated our larger environment in the universe is is a wonderful thing. There are so many things that affect the orbit of the Earth, the tilt of the Earth, things that affect our climate. Clues to Earth's space voyage are hidden all across the world. Could our planet's wild ride explain how one of the driest places on the planet was once wet?